God, we're going to have another holocaust because of furry art. Oh my God. Congratulations, we did it. This is exactly what happens when you put politics into fandoms. In this case here, the furry fandom. As, uh, <laughs> as you might have seen as well too, things are going to go a okay. Wrong. Things are not going to go <laughs> that way. So you might be wondering as well too, I mean, why all the acting about that or whatnot? Well, it's simple. And of course, you know, I did a bit of a recreation of what happened earlier today. So basically, today I woke up and I got myself, you know, something quite amazing, you know? Just something quite amazing. Outside, it's hot as fuck. It's springtime, right? So summer's kicking in, but there is still snow. What do you mean? Still snow? I mean, it's uh, it's springtime. It's hot as fuck, but not that kind of snow. What I'm talking about is salt, you know, uh, lots and lots of salt, because you know, basically, politics and the furry fandom has you know has been you know one of many things been going on, and of course, as you can tell, it hasn't been going pretty good, and of course. You and me, we're going to embark on a, quite a bit of a little adventure. First off, we're going to find out what happened and what did it brew up this point. And of course, I'll share you my bit of my experience as we go along as well too. Meet Mozart in a go-kart. His jive is that he's a dirty commie, an angry vegan, a Nazi puncher. He also does arts and fursuits. Goes up by the pronouns the he and they. He also answers to Nathan. Who the fuck is Nathan? I don't know. No racists, no bigots. No ableist and no tolerance. And yeah, so he basically was the sparkles to ignite the flames in the salt mines. And as you can tell, he's a very lovable person indeed. But that's not all. Basically, you know, what really went down and what, you know, brewed out onto Twitter is of course we're gonna have to go to another dimension, you might another dimension. But why dimension am I guessing? Ha <laughs> ha. It's a pretty simple one. We're gonna go to Fur Affinity. Fur Affinity, a fur yard website of which I myself use, and quite frankly, I love it a lot as well too. But most importantly, it is where all the evil brewed up. Literally doing the Nazi Heil salute. Fictional you know, content, so concerning Nazis are acceptable under the code of conduct. Thank you for your report. System, closing the ticket. And yet again, two more pieces. Fictional content concerning Nazis are acceptable under the code of conduct. Thank you for your report, system, closing the ticket. Uh, but this one is tagged as openly Nazi and Nazi first. Fictional content is acceptable under the code of conduct. Thank you for your report, system, closing the ticket. Uh, his name is a, literary, is a literal play on the Third Reich. Can we do something about that? Thank you for your report. However, his name is not um, currently in violation of rules. Have a nice day. System, closing the ticket. Of which, you know, that prompted response from Dragoneer. And this is what he, ha he had to say. Artistic depictions can be allowed, yes. The rules were people openly promoting the ideology. There is a fine line in promoting it in real life while still being allowed art of bad people. And that was Dragoneer, the owner of Fur Affinity. And even after of making an official statement from the uh, Fur Affinity uh, owner himself, you think that everything would be a okay, right? <laughs> no, it didn't. And why didn't it? And it's because social justice warriors, known as libtards, lefties, or Whatever derogatory manner you can think about the left wing, because again, I mean, these guys have become, you know, the the main face of the left wing, unfortunately, and you know, they're pretty insufferable, as you can see. Of course, will too, it's uh, open up for quite a lot of salt, and of course, will too, it's something that quite a lot of you know drama has been falling around, whatnot. Now, the thing is over here that I haven't been, let's say completely direct into every single report or every single tweet but here is the uh, but at least I went to some which you 
at least be able to have a bit of a, a clear idea of what's been going on. Lamau the salt mine, 10 out of 10! And that is just the label of the package. Shall we open it? Of course we will! And of course, I mean, this is the main highlight that's been happening around on Twitter by the time I woke up. And I have to say, it's the little meme fest over here. I absolutely love it, but holy shit, I mean, what a day to wake up, I mean, for when shit like this happens, and like, everyone is the most saltiest I there is I've ever been. Holy shit, what a time to be alive. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, I can feel the blood pressure going up. Holy hell. Welcome to my mine. We are mining diamonds. We are not a straight mine. We don't have to fly mobs. Welcome to my mine. Play that no prop nicely. Show me all those. Welcome to the salt mines, motherfucker. But the thing is, if you're gonna be really that salty over someone, you know, defending their First Amendment rights on the internet, then, uh, you need help. Because the thing is, not only does it be the First Amendment right, where everyone has their own free speech and whatnot, but the thing is, you know, a lot of different people, they have their fetishes, they have everything that they like and whatnot, so... That's something you gotta respect as well too. I mean, it's just it's not just because you're gonna use your political reasoning for political correctness and whatnot that you can steamroll over everyone's you know that what everyone likes and whatnot that you can regulate their fetish and whatnot. I mean, shit. Uh, we 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 want you know our our let's say our rights you know to to, to enjoy some shit, all right? I mean, just because as well too. Let's say that I've gone completely crazy as well too. That. Uh, that uh, I, I, I won't. I, that I that I can't enjoy it. I mean, I enjoy it well too. I mean, the way I am, I am so pretty, <laughs> so pretty. Uh. But but I mean, but of course, well too. I'm just I'm just messing around as well too.